Cause if it ain't right, it ain't it. And if it ain't it, it ain't right. I don't know, my foundation just look too bright. I don't know, I don't know, like. Cause look y'all, in the camera, I mean in the mirror, I don't know, I need y'all to tell me if it look bad. Hold on, where is this on? Look. Are you feeling the vibes? Cause I'm not. But hey guys, what's up? It is Mo. Ne. Hey. Hey. Welcome back to my channel. If you see the top down below, you see this is a smoking video. We are smoking together. It's a smoke sesh story time because I know how. Did I ever tell y'all how I wanted to work at Hooters? I'm gonna find a video and I'm gonna see. Because I, I think I brought it up a couple times about me wanting to work at Hooters. Like, so we're gonna talk about what it actually was. Because it, it wasn't giving what it should have gave. You feel me? Like, it wasn't giving what it should have gave. Let's just get into the. Let's just, let's, let's just go outside and let's just talk. Because. It wasn't giving what it should have gave. Like, my foundation is not giving what it should have gave. Like, my foundation it looks brown. Here we go with this goddamn toilet. Anyways, like I said, it wasn't giving what it should have gave. And, yeah, I don't remember what I said before I um came in the garage. No cap. Because, no cap. I literally just came in the garage, like, 15 minutes. You feel the vibes? Put your pajama pants on with a nice, decent shirt. I swear all YouTubers do it. We gonna start talking when the wood passed. But we gonna start talking right now. Because listen, let me tell y'all. I looked up so many videos of freaking Hooters before I started working there. And all the videos I seen. Oh, I love working at Hooters. Oh, I love working at Hooters. People get stuck in Hooters like it's a strip club. Like what? So let's talk about why I didn't like it so much. I didn't like it. You know what? No, we're gonna talk about the whole process. So first, the hiring process. So when you get hired at they don't they don't ask you for much. They asked me for my ID and my social security when I first got there. Like y'all didn't even talk to me. Like and then I was sitting up there for like 30 minutes, haven't talked to nobody, no one came over to talk to me, like so rude. And then finally I just was like, you know what, I'm gonna go walk to the bar because first I told one of the girls I was here for an interview and then when she tried to like sit me down but then she, I, she said she was gonna tell somebody i didn't tell nobody and i was sitting there for like 30 minutes like no one came and talked to me so that's when i was in a bar and then i talked to them and then that's when they got a manager the manager never asked me um how i was doing it nothing she was like hey um do you have your id with you and i was like yeah i got my id she was like and you're here for an interview she was so small seemed so nice wasn't nice at all she was the rudest person in there and she used, she was like one of those people that were like nice rude. Like with a smile on their face but would say some rude mess to you. Like for no reason. But what I gave them, uh, uh, but after I gave her my license and everything, she was real cool. Then she started talking to me, asking me like what brought me to Hooters. And uh, she was saying uh, what would my schedule be like. And saying like what else I do besides this and I told her I'm in school and stuff so she never told me how much I got paid she never told me when I was gonna get paid uh none of that like I, I like I can't tell you how much I even got paid from working there like don't know where they started or anything I mean I asked but y'all was giving me like three different prices first y'all told me eight eight dollars then someone told me ten dollars then somebody told me eleven so I don't know that's when she had asked me to come in for my first day. So my first, and they never gave me a fitting. I didn't know I was supposed to have a fitting um, before I went in. So my first day was a fitting. Like the first day of work, it was a fitting. So I didn't get to work. And then at that, she told me that um, 
when I get the job, it comes with the uniform. No, nope, you have to pay for the uniform and the shoes. You can't go get your own shoes. For one, the shirt was $20, the shorts was $20, the stockings were $6, and the shoes were $40. You do the math. Then, the crazy part about it was when I actually did get to start my first day, you can't get your tips while in training. I did see that. But they told, but online, like on YouTube and stuff, it said you don't get tips for like three days of training. And then the fourth day, you can actually collect your tips. Mm -mm. That's wrong. You don't get tips for five days. I mean, it was cool. It was fun. The music was lame. I mean, we had country music. And then we didn't really have that many people that came in there. I mean, when it got busy, it was either a Friday or a Saturday. Never Monday, never Tuesday, never Wednesday. I, I, I don't know. It was probably what because we wasn't in football season. But now that I don't work up there now, it's like no one really bees up there. Like all the girls that were fun quit. So, yeah. Okay, so in training, it was cool. I mean, they taught me the menu, which wasn't hard. I learned that in like three days. And the drink menu, that was hard because, baby, I didn't remember none of them drinks. And then every time one of my tables asked me about some drinks, I was like, baby, I don't drink. So here's a drink menu. I don't know what, what tastes like. Um, I could bring the bartender over here, but I don't, yeah, nah. But I really didn't have no complaints. Like, I didn't have any, like, people, like, talk bad on my service you feel me you know a reason to get fired right so um like i said i had one altercation with the manager um we're gonna call her blue um so miss blue she was like she was small but she said she worked but she was one of the managers but she was super mean for no reason and p.s I did tell her my hair was red before I got hired. So I just want to put that out there. Like I really did. I showed her a picture and everything. And it's crazy because I was wearing a blonde wig when I got hired. That's the crazy part. I never had no complaints. And then at that, I had to wait four weeks before I got my first paycheck, which I thought was kind of weird. Um, I didn't have a login like to tap on the computer for like three weeks. Um, so I couldn't even tap my own thing. I feel like I only got two paychecks of working there. No cap, cause I worked there for a month and some change. It was, I just really, I don't know. Like it was so fun, but you could tell how that message draining. Like if you really did not feel happy that day, it was not gonna be a good day. But I mean, I always, I mean, I made good tips while working there. I mean, not all the time like i only had one bad time and that was like on a weekday and i probably made on like 20 dollars. but i could say i have walked out of there a couple of times and walked out with 200 dollars and like 150 to 200 dollars like a couple of times um but it was never like super busy to the point where somebody would make like 500 dollars. i mean if you're the bartender that's different i wasn't i was just one of the little hooters girls you feel me but I mean, if you want to work there, you could totally do it, but mm -mm. okay, so one altercation that I really had, the altercation that I had with Blue, um, so I, it was like my third, no, I would say it was kind of like, no, it was my third week. So I was talking to one of the other girls and we were laughing about how the schedule was made. And then um, she had asked, because she told me what time, last time she worked. And it was like a whole weekend later. She said she hasn't worked since um, a Sunday. And I was like, dang. I was like, well, I haven't worked since Saturday. And then we started laughing. And then I was like, I mean, if you only want to put certain girls on a schedule, then just say that. And we were just like laughing, like literally just making jokes, not even being serious for real. And she was in the office and then she was like, well, Myra, if you have a problem with how I did the schedule, you can come in the office and talk about it. And then I was like, I was joking. And then she was like, well, if you have a problem, you can just 
come and talk about it when you have a when you ready and I was like what so I literally like took my stuff and started walking to front cuz I was like what are you doing and at that it was like no one in there it was like morning time I believe no it was like four o'clock cuz that's when I had to clock in so like four o'clock so then that's when I go to the front and like I'm chilling cuz I don't got no tables ain't nobody walking in it's like mad slow and then she was like go stand over by the hostess thing and I was like why and then she was like because um no one's over there and I'm like it's two other people over there and she was like you're not doing anything so you need to go over there and I was like okay so I went over there are you that depressed over the schedule did it take it wasn't that hard that you were so mad at me so yeah that's one altercation that I got in with her and then I had another altercation and um it was about my hair because that day I had actually um I think I had a black wig on and then I was like tired of it and I wanted to let my hair breathe so I decided to um to actually wear my hair in an afro little you know like the the things in the front the bangs in the front with the puff that's how my hair was and I went to work like that I was super duper cute I think I had a picture of how I was I don't think I have my uniform one in a picture I, I'll find it I'll find it but I had that and then I had my hair out but my hair is red like my hair is dyed red and to mind you I told her this when I got hired and she said that won't be a problem but it was a problem so then that's when like okay so I went to work I'm chilling and then I say hey to everybody I'm like hey 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 walking in putting my shoes on chilling and then that's when I was like dang i don't have a login and i was like let me go see if i got a login so then that's when i went and asked blue and when i asked blue she was like your hair is red and then i said i know i told you this and then she was like when and then i said when i got hired i showed you a picture of my hair and she was like but i hired you with blonde hair and then i said i told you i had red hair and then she was like, um, well, you need to do something about it. And I was like, I mean, I don't have no wig in the car. I mean, if you want me to go home, I'll go home. But, like, I don't have no other hairstyle. This is my hairstyle for the day. Because I was at school. And then that's when she was like, she was like, um, that that's not the hair you was hired with. So, you need to go and um so you need to have the same hair that you was hired with and I was like huh and then she was like you heard me and if there's a problem you can come and talk to me about it and I'm like what that makes no sense well I had that altercation with her so I guess then that's when I had actually um she had actually got sick and then she wasn't coming in at all and um she had COVID and then um, I wasn't on the schedule for a full week. Then the next week I was on schedule and then I had went in and then that's when, um, cause I had actually picked up a shift, but I didn't go the previous shift, but I called and they were acting like they couldn't pick up the phone. So that's when I had um, actually texted somebody that was there and they had said they told them. And then that's when, um, what had happened? I picked up the shift. And then when I picked up my shift, um, I went up there. I was chilling. I put my shoes on. I was going to get on the floor. And then she was like, I would like to talk to you. And then I was like, okay, cool. So then that's when we go in the room. She brings this other person in there. I'm like, who is this? And then that's when I was like, okay. So then that's when she was like, um, so you will not be working here anymore. Um in because she was like you're not gonna be working in here because i'm tired of you and i just feel like it's best for both of us if you just don't work here anymore and i was like what what did i do and then she was like it's just the 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 little stuff i'm over it and i don't want to do it anymore and i was like but for what and then she was like this is it i was like huh 
So I, 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 I was just confused and at the time I was high. So I was like, you know what, it is what it is. And I just went home and I was real sad about it because it was like, that was my only job, like for real. I was working two jobs before I worked there. And then I decided to quit both of them and then work there, which was stupid. But hey, it, it's life. That's what happened. It was crazy. I mean, was it that bad? From one to 10, five. Yeah, because dealing with rude customers, that was annoying. And it was like, you're getting mad at me for stuff that I couldn't control. Or because some people don't have like the decency to realize, like some people will go into the restaurant and be like, I'm the only person there. Like they be wanting to feel like they're the only person there and I have to be up at that table every five seconds. And if it's packed in here, why am I just, messing with you when I have other people too you feel me so it was that little stuff so yeah it wasn't that bad but would I do it again fuck no <laughs> like mm -mm, at all it was cool though because it was like it was just the fact that I wanted to work at Hooters and I went and I got to work at Hooters and it wasn't what it was like it wasn't giving what it should have gave like at all I mean if I probably would have went somewhere like Atlanta or Vegas or some shit, probably, but in Florida, nah, shit ain't it. So yeah, that's my video. Um, like, comment, share, do what y'all do. Um, I'm finna finish this, and I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Bye.